So I'm going to select the default profile at this stage. I'm not going to cover off everything in this video. I know your time is precious, and so I want to make sure that uh, I uh, move through this swiftly. In here, I'm going to choose a video uh, skin. Um, first of all, I'm going to set the um, set the size, and uh, this is already detected. Uh, 729 by 365 uh, is the size of of the video there, and the uh, aspect ratio is set uh, here just through the tick of the box you can set up autoplay auto buffer pause when focus is lost uh, user related image yes so th uh, they will evs will automatically pick the image and so we click the next button here and this is where we choose the skin for the uh, for the player now i quite like there's there's lots more skins uh, so just have a look through there, then there were an easy video suite. Uh, I quite like this uh, blue one here, and we can see it's changed up top. And uh, we can also set a player entrance. So say if we wanted to fade in down, and so you can see that, I'll just uh, refresh that. That just faded in down, and we change the settings. Light speed, this is the most dramatic. So let's have a look at that. You can see it come in. It's a very dramatic animation. Um, so we can set up uh, Facebook on the mouse over Facebook buttons, Twitter buttons, uh, Google Plus, uh, and we can have the player controls either displayed on mouse over, or you can have them never showing. Uh, so some videos uh, you don't want them showing, and you can have them showing all the time. Show streaming animation. Um, you can password protect this video, so from security perspective, password protect it here. I'm going to say no to that, so I'm going to go next, and here I can choose my frame for the video. Now this one I might choose the iPad, or I might choose um, the iPhone, or I might choose the Mac, uh, Mac uh, desktop, and uh, I have a few options, uh, different types. So I chose blue at the start, so what I might choose, i go for this fella, okay, and that's what it looks like, it's rather nice, and choose next, and in here I can include a, uh, down below, I can include a black bar, I can change the colours of the bar, uh, green, blue, I might go for blue because blue is the color I originally chose. And in here, I can add elements uh, to, to that. So I, wanna, I want people to be able to download this video. I want uh, people to know that this is powered by Easy Video Suite. And uh, I can add other items such as uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Delicious, email, PayPal, Donate, there you go, feedback, etc. But I'll keep it simple, just add a download. Uh, and we we'll go to the next screen. Here I can add a shadow. This one's quite nice. And so you can, there's lots more shadows. Get one there. Yep. But I quite like I quite like this uh, shadow here. So that's fine. And at this stage, I can add. I can either go to the timeline and add uh, some details there, or I can just save. Now in this, I'm going to keep it fairly brief, and I'm just going to go straight to get my embed code and uh, set up a page, because the page is ready to go. So here's my URL, so I can set that up and put that into and view it here, and we see that there it is. So here's my player, it's rather nice. I can download the video if I want, and I can play, that's fine. Um, and uh, So I can view it here, or I can um, edit the video's page itself, so I can actually create a, a page with uh, lots more settings, and we'll go into that. And also here is our embed code, so that you can put that into your uh, HTML site or your WordPress site, and that is uh, there, it's just one click. And uh, we can center that. That's fine. If I was to use that, that is fine. So we're going to go into Edit Your Videos page. It's here, and we'll show you what uh, what is possible here. 
So here we are uh, where we can edit and create the page. So this is uh, right now it's just got a simple white, uh, pa white background but we can actually uh, add some new elements. Now you'll notice that these are widgetized. These are all widgets on the left here and we can add and drag and drop new widgets. So we can uh, you know drag and drop um, we'll put this Facebook down below. Um, that's that there. Uh, we can add an opt-in form down below and so we'll be able to add in our opt-in code. I'm not going to use that and I might delete you. That is fine. Uh, let's see. We can add in Facebook comments. Facebook comments there. That's cool. Um, and uh, what else? That in some HTML code, and so you can build it up uh, each page. Now, down below here, we have choices for the page template, and so if we uh, do change the template, let's have a look at this one. So that's uh, change that there. Let's have a look at the blue one. That's rather nice, not too bad. It's got a background on that, and uh, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. That that's fine. I'm happy with that, and uh, you can change the title. Um, okay, Kieran's um, awesome video. Easy, easy video. Sweet. Okay, that's fine. I'll save that. Well, actually, I want to uh, I want to change the color of that. So let's do that. I know this is a nice red that I quite like. I'll save that. Okay, and so that's done. So I'm going to click save and continue, and that will take me to my. Um, uh, get my embed code which is in the final stage of the video uh, getting published so let's have a look at the page now and there we are so we have a uh, blue page and I'll just uh, widen this some and we see the background there and we see Facebook commenting and we've also got uh, the like and send features of Facebook so that's all very good